and hello everyone welcome back to another roblox tutorial in this tutorial we'll be learning how to sculpt terrains roblox studio has terrain tools that allows you to create very realistic landscapes like oceans mountains and so on so let's try to sculpt a small island in the middle of the ocean I'm just going to delete all of this here. So we have a somewhat clear canvas. So let's go to our home tab and let's select this editor here. So make sure this is here. So once you select it, it will appear if this wasn't there before. Then here we can go to edit and here it allows us to do a bunch of things with terrain. So let's first create an ocean. So here we can select the sea level now notice we have these blue dots here. For us, we just need to move this toolbox so it is somewhere else. In this case, I'm just going to put it here for now. And you'll notice we have this position and size. For the size, let's make it the X 2000. We can make the Y 100 and the Z 2000. And it's basically all of these blue things here. And you also change the position if you want, but for now it should be fine. And here you can just say create. And there we go. So here is a body of water. As we zoom out, we can see it. You can use evaporate to evaporate the water. And you want to, you can actually set Y to position zero. And X to position zero. And Z to position zero. And now if you say create, there we go. So now we have water. Let's add an island. To do that, we can use this add button here. And now you'll notice a grid appears around the mouse pointer. So as you click and drag to create terrain, it will align to the grid to sculpt the island. So to sculpt the island, let's aim the camera downward so we can view it like this. So there we go. And to create this island, it is as simple as just left clicking and then dragging how you want the island to look. And then of course we can just fill out the island by just dragging a bit more like this. And you can of course do more effort as you see fit. Now I can take another view similar to this to take a look at the island. So there's the island. One might want to close some of these openings here. There we go. And here we actually managed to make it go up a little bit because we didn't look downwards. If we look downwards, it this won't happen. But since we looked sideways, this happened. But that's pretty cool anyways. So depending on your angle, you can make it do different things. So now, if we just go down a little bit, we can make it go up. Like that. Now to smoothen it out, you can use the smooth tool. And this will allow us to smooth it out a little bit more. So let's again take a look from this angle. And now let's smooth it out by just clicking and using smooth everywhere around. So you'll notice it changes up a little bit. It just makes it a little bit more smooth. So we view it from the top. Now we can smooth it from the top as well. It's up to you if you want to smooth it. Some people prefer not to smooth it. But to each your own, I sometimes do like smoothing things out just a little bit to make it look a little bit nicer. Now you can also paint the terrain by using the paint button here. And if we were to move this toolbox away again, let's maybe just put it here. Then here you'll have a bunch of options. If you scroll down, you have a bunch of materials you can choose from. Let's maybe choose 
pavement. I think pavement could be a cool paint. Or actually, since we're doing an island, it would be smarter to do sand. And we can drag the sand across the edges of the island. So we take a look here, we do this, now we are adding sand to the edges of the island. There we go. Now you can make things look pretty cool by customizing it. So if you click on this terrain here to make sure you have that selected and you go to material colors, click to expand. Then here you have all of the colors that your grasses and stuff looks like. So if we wanted to, we could change the grass so it is a more let's say a lively color to make it look like this place is thriving. We can make the grass a little bit greener, as you can see. Or, for example, let's go to the sand and make the sand a little bit more yellow. Now, if we go really close to the island to take a look at the grass, we can then go here to decoration and we take that off, you'll notice it basically decreased the quality. So now if you zoom out, it did decrease the quality. So if you want to increase the quality, then you can do this. This will increase the quality and give us animated grass. So here we can actually play around on our island. Isn't that absolutely epic? And it's as easy as that to, in Roblox, create an entire island from scratch. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe. And I will see you all again in the next Roblox tutorial.